All right, Roman. Roman, welcome back. What's going on, man? <laughs> it's been uh, it's probably been a couple of years since you've been here, right? Yeah, a couple of years. I interviewed you with your girlfriend Jess. Jess. Is it your wife or girlfriend? She's my wife. Uh, girlfriend. I call her my wife, though. Yeah. And uh, I just found you now. Are you guys still together? Yeah, we're together. We're taking a break because um, we're with each other twenty four seven and constantly, and. Uh, we're going on six years now. Uh, we're just taking a little break from each other. Um, it's for the best. Uh, we're not separated or anything. We're just taking a little break. And you're still living on the street? Yeah, we're homeless, um, waiting for housing, Section 8. What's been going on since the last time I saw you? Um, well, we uh, ended up moving out to 29 Palms and uh, staying with my ground. Well, when one of uh, my step-grandfathers. And uh, we, uh, I was doing my music and had a little studio. And um, you can look up my music. It's uh, Royal Tatted. It's all one word. And uh, it's, I've been just focusing on my music. Like even now, even still on the street, I get on my phone, make all my songs. I have at least 200 songs. I have like 300 beats, mix and master produced. Uh, like five music videos and have two uh, songs on the radio right now. Hmm. And drugs are still a part of your life? Um, not as bad as it, it was, but yes. What are, you, what are you using? Just meth. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say, oh no, I don't do drugs, but yes, I'm still on meth. There was some confusion, I remember. You mentioned your mom was uh, an actress? Yeah, my mom was an actress and a model. And um, my dad, he's uh, he's out in uh, Riverside County. Uh, he used to stay out here in San Fernando Valley. And um, he got into a bad car accident. And uh, it kind of hard, like memory. Like, uh, what do you call it when? when dementia? Yeah, he was having dementia. He remembers who I am, but it's just um, the memories and stuff are all gone. And it's hard for him to think. So was, um, I call him every once in a while just to check in on him. And, other than that, my, I don't really have any other family. And your, mo your mom is? Deceased. Deceased. Yeah. What, what was your mom's name? Candace. Casalicio was her stage name. Candace Mitchell is her real name. Oh, I see. So the last video, there was lots of, you got lots of criticism in the comments, didn't you? I did, and it, 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 honestly, it, I understand completely the way it could look, but I'm not a narcissist, you know, and I'm not um, controlling my wife. I'm not controlling her or, or in, in any way, shape, or form. That we we had just gotten through a lot, and um, we both haven't had slept in a couple of days. And right before the interview, we were arguing. So it it was as if it just it just I guess it may look bad, you know. But I'm not a bad person. And it's really hurtful that, that, that all those comments were said, like, just leave him and he's no good. I had a Roman before and um, I'm so glad that I got away from him. And when my wife read that and our families read that, we, 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 <laughs> it was almost the defamation of character. If, I think that's the right word. Well, social media comments are, yeah, they was, are what they are. Yeah, it was a defamation of character and it was bullshit because I'm not like that. I love her so much. Dude. I do everything I can for her, man. Everything I can. She does everything she can for me. I love her with all my heart and all my soul. And, uh, yeah. You guys are taking a break for what reason? Um, cause we got into, we got into a fight, an argument. Cause, um, I thought she was cheating on me. So, um, I told her we should just take a little break. And she's, she's using as well? She's on meth. She got a bad heart infection like eight months ago, and um, she wasn't she wasn't supposed to make it, but she she fought it she fought it off, and now she's doing better. But the doctor did say that um, since it she, the heart infection traveled to her liver, her kidney to her spine, and it went to her brain, and I guess it, it, it it's uh, she has slight delusions like so, like paranoia and, and stuff, and it's gotten a lot worse. And the drugs don't help at all it's 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 a little much and that's it that's also another reason for the, the separation and and 
what I mean by separation, she, we're on it. We live on the same block. She has a tent on one one side of the, the block, and I have one on the other. But I just um. Where do you stay now? In Hollywood. You came down to Skid Row for what? Um, I came down here. I was gonna go to get my EBT, and then um, your friend came along and said, "Hey, um, you wanna you wanna do the um, follow up interview?" I was like, um, "Sure, why not?" Like. I want to clear some things up anyway, because I don't want my I don't want my 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 character to be defined the way that it was, and um, a lot of the commenters or followers were they were asking to do separate interviews anyway, and I know everyone wants to hear Jess's side. And Jess is the type to, to she's shy she's she's shy and she's um, like I said she's going through the things that she's going through. So she might do it, she might not. I know that I'm, I, I'm more than willing to do it and I, because I need, to clear, I need to clear that up. How do you feel about like that, like the comments and stuff? Well, I mean, your struggle is your struggle. Yeah. And people will, everyone's gonna have an opinion. And you know, with face tattoos and being on the street and on drugs, that, that just puts an, an idea in everyone's head of what your life's all about. And maybe right now that's where you're at, but it doesn't mean that tomorrow you couldn't turn this around and straighten out and be, a, you know, a success story too. Yeah, I'm, so I'm, there's always hope of that. I'm trying. I'm trying everything. Like I said, we're waiting for we're waiting for housing, and you do have one hell of a lot of face tattoos. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, there, it's art to me. Man. It's it's my life, and a lot of people are like, do you regret it? And I'm like, no, I don't regret my face tattoos because everything on my body means something to me. Every symbol on me means something to me, and it's, it's it's judged as if I'm a bad criminal guy, and like you know, I'm on I'm on drugs. That's the only thing I can say that's bad about me. I don't go out and I don't steal from stores. I don't go steal from people. Um, I stay out of jail now. I don't go to jail. I don't fight with people. I don't argue with people. What I do for work, uh, for my little bit of money that I do, I freelance. And do the, you know, I told you last time about the computers and stuff. Um, and actually I unlock phones and, and do uh, tablets, laptops, and um, that, that gets me enough money to, to eat and survive during the week. Um, sometimes I have enough to get a hotel room and get me and Jess in a, into a hotel room. Um, actually it's most of the time, but the other times we're, we're in a tent and I want to say that, that, that it's a lot better than what it was before. Like the last time that you interviewed me and my wife. What have you learned from your years here on the um, streets? Not to trust everybody. There's one main thing. Don't trust everybody. Don't get close to people out here. Because yeah, once you do, it's like every time. They turn on you. Every, every relationship I've had on the streets has uh, always turned out to be the same thing. And I can't trust them. And um, another thing is that people are always going to judge me, you know? People are always going to. But I just had to keep pushing. I had to keep going. I had to ignore, ignore it and... and be that success story that you're talking about, man. Do you feel like you're making your life more difficult than it needs to be? I mean, like whether it's a jury or an employer or anyone you meet, they're gonna look at all your face tattoos and have um, some pre preconceived ideas about you. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But nowadays too, like you can go into Walmart or Target and people have face tattoos and they work still. So it's becoming more common than but my whole face is tatted. My whole. You, you don't. You don't regret it. I don't regret it. I. Um. I, even back then, I didn't regret it. Like I never regretted it. Like I love my art. I love my face. I'm a unique individual. Um, my wife loves it, and a lot of people um, always stop me and are like, "Oh, can I take a picture with you?" and, and stuff. And I've had offers to work in magazines and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I don't regret it. How old are you? 28. What's your biggest fear now? 
biggest fear is, um, I'm gonna be honest, you losing my cat. Um, I have a, I have a, I have a cat named Karma, and Karma was in 29 Palms. Um, she was just a kitten, and uh, they were shooting the cats because there were so many of them. And I rescued Karma from that happening to her. And um, ever since then, she's been my life. Like my, she's my little everything. She's um, she's been there in the rain with me. Like every night consistently she comes and cuddles up on my chest and she stays with me, she's stuck with me. She's the sweetest little cat. Uh, <laughs> she's just my everything. And uh, she got taken, stolen from me um, twice now. Just because people, like I said, you can't trust people. And people know that that's my weakness and that's, that's, my, um, that's my fear is losing my cat and like something happening to my cat. Because that's my, I guess it was her. Is getting clean a concern? Yeah, that's, that's is that a goal of yours. And so um, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say and say yeah I'm working on that, but I don't smoke as much as I used to. I'm down to like three times a week, honestly. I really like I don't smoke as much as I used to, and I sleep every night and I eat every day. Um, and eventually, yeah, I want I want to get off. Of that's it because it's not gonna give me nowhere. And it's a waste of money, it's a waste of time. Um, and then housing, housing, I'm excited to get that. As soon as I get housing, that's the day I'm gonna stop smoking completely because I'm not gonna do anything to jeopardize it's something that I've been working so hard to get. Yeah, having a roof over your head would be very stabilizing. <laughs> you know, it's everything I need, you know? Then I could do my, my, my college and my music and, and, and and it would be the foundation I need to start my success story. But I did definitely wanted to come in here and cl clarify about the, the narcissist comments and and the things that were the nasty things that were said about me without. Uh, it just it was really hurtful. It, it hurt it hurt my feelings and it hurt my family's feelings. Jessica's family's and Jessica. Jessica was, she was like flabbergasted at, at, at the comments that were being made. She's like, you're not even like that. Like, why are people being like that? Why are people saying that? Why are people being so nasty? And it was nasty what people said. Very, very nasty and, and um, wrong. So. All right. Roman, great seeing you again. Yeah. Thank you, man. I wish you lots of luck with housing and... Uh and with Jess and all that. Um, like I said about Jess too, um, I'll talk with her and see if she'll be interested. Yeah, let her know. Um, I think it's important though so she can get her side out too because mm -hmm. I want everyone to see that. And, I'd be um, up for that. All right, Roman. Thank you very much.